Hey everybody, so we are at Tim's Ford State Park in uh, Tennessee. It is near Lynchburg, Tennessee. I'll, I'll throw it up on a map. Um, Lynchburg is near Jack Daniels, basically, um, which is between uh, Nashville and Knoxville, kind of in Chattanooga. It's kind of in that little triangle. Very close to Manchester, uh, big surprise, like where we stayed at. Um, the sites are incredibly big. This is a state park. Um, you can see how big our site is. I mean, literally, you can put another camper here. Um, but even so, the one behind it is very big, the one behind that is very big. Um, this is part of Tim's Ford behind me, this gigantic lake um, looking thing. It's a, it's a Ford, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, you can look at a map and figure out, figure that out. But I see people out there on kayaks. I see people out there um, on boats. It looks very fun. It is um, the fall, obviously, um, because I'm wearing like a, a little sweatshirt. Um, with a, a tank top underneath it, believe it or not, uh, because it, it gets kind of warm in the middle of the day and then cooler in the evening, which is what it is now. Um, we're getting, it's like 4.35, um, and then it's kind of brisk in the morning. Um, the sights. The ones on the water, I think, are electric and water only. There might be a couple sporadic that are full hookups, but they're, the ones that are on the water are mostly water and electric only. So we're water and electric. Um, there is a loop here. So when you come in, you can go like up this little hill. There's a little loop there. And then you can go um, where this SUV is going. And there's another loop over there. Um, the loop has a bathhouse in the middle of it. And um, if you know state parks very good, um, if you're near a bathhouse, you're usually near full hookups if they have them. Okay. And that's where they are. Okay. So the, the full hookups are on the inside of this loop mostly um, not so much like if you have um, a water site so it's up to you and if you would prefer to have a water um, with no sewer or if you would prefer to have sewer um, with no no water um, yeah that's that's the choice that you get now there is a ranger here um, that has a side-by-side -side that will bring firewood to your site if you want to pay to get you know like firewood which is like really really convenient that they, they deliver firewood here and uh, there's not a whole lot of internet. My, um, I have an AT&T phone, it actually says SOS, like on the phone. Um, there's like very, very little. Occasionally I get one bar, occasionally I get no bars. Um, but we do have our Starlink. Um, you can see it's over there next to the road. And we can do Wi-Fi calling across the Starlink. Um, I can't put it on the back of the camper because there's too many trees. So we're really lucky with the site that we have that I can line it up and you can shoot it at, like up the road or whatever. Um, most of the sites probably are not even Starlink. So yeah, um, very difficult um, on internet if you need internet while we're here. And uh, once again, what do you do in the area? In the area, you go to Jack Daniels um, in Lynchburg. We have a complete video on that that we will post probably after this video on uh, the Jack Daniels tour if you wanna see the complete tour. Hey, so they do have a walking trail here. Um, to be clear, we are at the Fairview Camping Ground. Um, so when you come here, make sure that you, um, if this is a campground you're gonna go to, don't just put in like the name of the um, state park because you're gonna end up in the wrong area. Make sure you put the name of the campground in. Um, so anyway, so there's this map here I'm gonna show you. Um, I actually did all this on a bike um, because if you look here, it says, you know, huntable, if you have a permit, hiking, biking, backcountry, um, all this stuff. So I took a bike out on these trails and it actually says you can do mountain biking. A lot of places do not allow mountain biking on the trails, um, but they allow them here. So we are here. This is the Fairview Campground. And what I wanted to share with you um, with this specific map is this is uphill. It's a, a, a lot uphill. You can see the contour lines, right? So you do this steep climb um, hiking. And then you can see how spaced out the contour lines are here. So if you make a right turn to go to the other campground, it's actually these large fields and it's, it's very flat and very kind of easy, easy going. Um, so this I would categorize as a pretty easy walking trail once you get up this steep, really, really steep hill. The other side of this, all of this, oh my God, that is ridiculous. So this whole area here is more like a mountain biking trail. Where it's like, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, so, yeah, if you like aggressive, you want to go back over in here. If you like um, mountain bike riding, you want to go back in here. Um, if you just want a nice little walk, um, you definitely want to hang a right and just go between the two campgrounds um, with a short flat path 
um, you know, so I really wanted to share that with people because, you know, I went out there on the bike thinking um, it was going to be easy. <laughs> and the mountain biking actually was a little more aggressive than I was expecting. Um, so just um, kind of neat thing. So this is a loop I was talking about. Um, the road goes down there and then it comes back this other way. Um, the full hookup sites would be these ones that are in this triangle, kind of like in the middle. Um, so if you want hookups, that's where you end up being. And obviously over here um, is where the lake is. You're going to notice that there's quite a few grand designs here. Um, and I'll, I'll just say this. I know that we have an alliance and everybody's all like pro-alliance. We're actually here at a grand design rally. <laughs> yeah, isn't that interesting? Um, how did we end up going to a grand design rally? That's kind of... Kind of the odd thing. Um, so our friends own a Grand Design and they said, hey, a bunch of our friends are um, come here to go to Jack Daniels. Um, we have this annual camping trip and we're like, oh, that sounds cool. Let's go do this annual camping trip. And little uh, lo and behold, when I spoke to the ranger, <laughs> um, the ranger's like, oh, are you here for the Grand Design Rally? I'm like, what? Um, so yeah, um, we're, we are the SOBs, they call it, some of the brands um, that are um, encroaching upon their rally. So it's, it's all cool um, because we were invited to be part of the rally. So yeah, fun fun. We do have um, a non full hookup like no sewer site. We ended up getting a Blue Boy, um, this kind of sewer dumping thingy. Um, we got it for actually the keys because when we go to the keys we're going to be down there, down there for two weeks and I know we're going to need to, to um, unload our gray tank at least probably at least once or twice um, while we're down there. We don't need to do it here because we're only here for one week. Um, but I wanted to kind of practice and, and, and learn how the thing works. Um, so there it is there. And what I learned is basically um, you have to open the top to let the air out. So then when you, when you dump into it, like the air can escape. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fill up because there's no way to kind of release the pressure. The other thing I um, discovered was because we're so low to the ground, the little, uh, the box is actually taller than the, than the dump thing. So, um, yeah, isn't that interesting? So it means that like basically, um, the, the grade tanks are above it, but the plumbing is not. Um, luckily for us, we have the little um, external additional um, valve that I can use to close the pipe itself. Um, that doesn't come with a camper. Um, so if you do get one of these like little things, get the little, uh, I think they're called Valdera valves or something, get the little Valdera valve that you can add to it. So then you can actually uh, um, close it. This is 35 gallons. I think the whole camper is about 110 gallons. So three trips with that little box and we can empty the camper. Um, way easier to move the little tiny box than just to move the, the camper. Um, with it being 35 gallons, I think it's something like seven pounds per gallon or something like that. So yeah, the thing is like 250 pounds. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be just tugging that thing around. Um, fortunately, there's a little um, black adapter on it and it, you just um, put it on the ball of your truck and you can just like drive it down there. You don't have to, to tug on it. Um, so moving it from here to there, the little 20 feet is going to be the, the hardest thing. Um, not, you know, getting it down there or whatever. That's pretty easy. So um, something to think about um, if you do go to a state park with no hookups and you're going to be there for um, a while. That's, that's always something helpful. Hey guys, so my friend uh, here, uh, she sells nails and stuff. I don't know a whole lot about it, but uh, we're going to show you what she has. Color streak. All right, so this is it right here. Color you, streak. We'll put it in the link down below. Color streak. Okay. We'll, How you we'll, buy from her. We'll put a link or whatever. She's like really cool. She's a grand designer. So all you yeah. designer people like, like you. you. <laughs> so you clean the nails, it looks like. With alcohol, it takes the oil off. And you take off the oil, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, huh? sure it is. Oh. No. Come here, Grace. Come here. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, Crystal does her dogs all this time. I have no doubt. Good. Right? She's good now. Grace, she's afraid you're light a fire. See, look. Yeah. Now it's mommy's turn. Now she's like, well, wait a minute. Why am I not getting more? Between in the wine country, we live between the Napa Valley. These are Color Street and nails, really quick oh, yeah, and easy also, to put on. So now I'll be able to do it myself next time. And the right mix. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.